Well, let's talk now to a market expert on this uh, on this day of market history, Brianne Gardner, Senior Wealth Manager at Velocity Investment Partners with Raymond James. Brianne, we barely make it by the thinnest of margins, the TSX in positive territory. The real, uh, the real story here is the comeback of the Canadian market uh, since the fall of last year. What are you telling your clients about uh, uh, the, the portion of their portfolio that might be devoted to Canadian stocks? Yeah, I mean, thanks for having me, Paul. I think it's great to see. I mean, after topping, you know, previous highs seen in 2022, I think a lot of the momentum we're seeing in Canada is really based on the rate cut optimism, right? The most recent data we got out of Canada was um, the inflation CPI figures came in cooler than expected, that 2.8 versus that 3.1. So that was really the slowest pace that we've seen since June. So for Bank of Canada, you know, that was something that was uh, very crucial to likely show the council members agreed that the next move for them would likely be a rate cut, but more split on the timing of that cut. So core inflation measures ease to more than two years lows. And again, that is favorable for investors, for Canadian investors. And we really saw the TSX and the Canadian market rally on that news. So now the Bank of Canada's rate expectations have jumped from 50% chances of a cut in June up to 60, and also a potential 25% chance of a rate cut as early Early as April. So the TSX is still underperforming the S&P 500 um, from uh, year to date, but we are seeing materials and energy sector really have been leading the way together. You know, they account for over 30% of the benchmark. So financials, as you mentioned earlier, you know, has started to show a little bit of signs of a comeback of 5% year to date, which does make up that financials makes up around 30% of the TSX. So when we start to see broader participation participation across the index, I think we will start to continue to see the TSX um, uptick. And it does remain for us in a short-term mechanical buy signal on a price, price momentum. It looks like a fairly broad-based rally thus far this year. I'm looking at the TSX, uh, TSX sectors and how they've performed this year alone in 2024. Uh, all but two groups are in positive territory. The two that are in negative territory are utilities and communication services. But industrials, which would include the rails that we mentioned a short time ago, the energy stocks, which of course course, includes giants like CNQ and Suncor, the information technology sector, which include Constellation and others are all in positive territory this year. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think, um, and same thing in Canada, like companies, as you mentioned, CNQ, a stock that we do own, has done very well, up, you know, double digits, I think it was around 16% year to date. Suncor, not one that we own, but again, up around 17. Um, when we start to see, I think, Canadian financials, right, Royal and TD make up about 12% of the TSX. So when we start to see a, those stocks play catch up that have been lagging a little bit, I think we will start to continue to see the TSX um, on this upward trend. And same thing with industrials, you mentioned too, has been another sector that has been doing great for Canada, kind of fueled by their earnings season. So Boyd Group um, was up around 20%, had a little bit of a pullback recently. WSP, again, too, up about 20%. So there are a lot of great Canadian companies that still have um, ways to go. And we see still more upside in, in select names.